Welcome back. Today we are going to be installing a cell booster. Solid RF has a new booster system out that we are going to be installing on our trailer to see if we can get better service when we're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we've all been in that situation hiking to the top of the hill or sitting on top of the trailer trying to make a phone call and hopefully this will help that situation. The booster that Solid RF sent us is the Pro and we'll list all the information down below. That way, if you're interested in snagging one of these, you can hop on Amazon or, where, or on their website and get them and find out all the product information and see if it'll work for you. But for right now, let's get installing this and see if it actually does what it's supposed to do. The first thing we're gonna do is find out where on this roof we are going to put this solid RF cellular booster. The problem is, it's about 16 inches tall, so going right at the center of the roof is going to be too tall. We're already about 13, well over 13 feet, and I don't want it any taller than that. So we're gonna have to mount it a little bit back down the roof, and it says to mount it over on the driver's side, but all of our electronic stuff and access to the wiring, all that stuff is over on the passenger side. So I guess we'll just see what we can figure out. The directions say to find where you have other cable lines from other antennas going in and kind of just follow those routes. So I'm going to open up this cover here to see if I can figure out a way to get the lines in. So I got the cover off and now I'm just going to run the cable line down along with these other cable lines right here in through this hole right here and down with all the TV stuff. After fishing the cable in from outside to get to the internal antenna, I had to remove the TV and just follow the same lines that come in from my TV antenna and satellite dish outside. Now that I've got all the wires ran, I'm going to do kind of a dry run on it just to make sure everything's working all right before I go gluing or drilling or anything like that. Uh, everything says I shouldn't have to drill any holes in my roof, so that's going to be uh, a real bonus. I would rather not have to screw into my roof. So let's do a dry run and see how it works. On the dry run, we ended up with a download speed of 124 and an upload of 256. With the booster turned on, we ended up with 134 and 323. Now we're at home and already getting good service, so I think we have everything positioned right. Now it's time to actually fully install it. Got the wire fished down through. so. Now I just need to figure out where to place my outside antenna. This is the outside antenna. It stands about 16 inches tall. And I already went through and pre-assembled it. Here you have the base at the bottom, then the antenna. Now I need to find where to put this on the roof. So that way it's not as tall as the center here because I don't want to get any higher than I already am. Looking at this placement, I think I should be low enough that I'm not getting any higher on the trailer, or that way I'm not getting to a new high point on the trailer. And it should be pretty well protected if it's back behind the satellite dish like this. The first step is to install the mounting plate, and it says you can just glue it down. So I got some um, multi-surface adhesive and we are just going to clean it and glue it down right here then once that is set the booster will go right on top just a little trick I have brought up my detergent water in a water bottle because it's way easier to get up and down the ladder with it in this than with a bucket or whatever else so it might work for you
while that base place sets up, I think I'll go have some lunch. Let it sit for an hour or two, and then we will hook on the antenna. The mounting plate has finally dried, and now it is time to screw on the antenna. They sent also some little plastic clips with sticky backs to help secure the cord down to the roof so that way it's not getting caught on things and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that finished up. Last thing we need to do is put the cover on and then we should be all wrapped up up here on top of the trailer. So let's get that done. One thing I like to do is fill in these holes up here where the screws were. That way, um, I'll have to dig it out if I ever have to get in here, but that way no water gets in. Well, that was a lot easier to install than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought it was going to be very, very difficult, but it wasn't. Solid RF seems to have made a really easy to install quality product, and we will give you a full in-depth review when we actually get out somewhere other than sitting in our yard here. Uh, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those things. Comment below if you think this is a product that, you know, would be useful for you. And remember, as always, enjoy your weekend. Thanks.